again, everybody. Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. Hi! Hope all of you are doing really well today. I am doing fabulous because we are entering my favorite season, my favorite time of year. Yep, it's autumn. It is the fall. I love the smell in the air. It's crisp. It smells like wood burning fires and the changing of the leaves. Yes, today we are going to be making these gorgeous leaves and they are pretty darn simple to make and I think that they are gorgeous and would make some lovely decor in your home. Yep, whether, you know, put around your dining room table or maybe used as embellishments for your scrapbooking or really whatever. I love them. And for this project, you are going to need, of course, a piece of paper. I generally use six by six inch. You can, of course, use whatever size you want to, provided, of course, that it is a square. Um, also, if you have paper that is the same color on both sides, mine is white on one side, colored on the other, if you have paper that is the same color on both sides, this is actually, I think, preferable because no matter how neat I try to make my folding, I still see a little bit of the white on the other side in there, and that would help mitigate that somewhat. Also, for this, you are going to need a pair of scissors. Generally, for origami, you don't need scissors, but for this one, you do, so that we can introduce some extra petals. All right, that being said, let's get started, shall we? By the way, I just realized that I said petals. Well, flowers have petals. Leaves, they just sort of have like branching off bits. At any rate, we're going to start with the colored side facing up and fold in half to make a triangle. And then unfold. Turn and fold in half to make a triangle once again. For those of you that are familiar with how to make a crane, this is the exact same modular base for that. It's used in many, many, many origami pieces. Okay, and then unfold once again. And turn your piece of paper over and then fold in half to make a rectangle. We're going to do that in both directions as well. Okay, and then unfold again and turn, fold it in half the other way. And then, holding your piece upright, we're going to sort of squoosh it together, folding two on one side, two on the other, and your opening is at the bottom. And this is your beginnings of a, a crane base, and we're going to keep at it. Okay, so with the opening still at the bottom, we're going to take these two top flaps and bring these bottom edges to that middle crease with the kite fold. So I'm going to start with this one, this edge along the center, using the crease as a guide. Try to get a nice crisp point at the bottom there. And then do the same thing, this edge to the center. And I think I can fix this side just a wee bit. There. 
Okay, and then flip it over and do the exact same thing. This edge and this edge to the center crease line. Then folding the tip down along this edge right here. Flip it open, then opening up these two flaps and then bringing up this top layer, bringing it all the way back along this crease here, open up. Also, it helps if you sort of scooch your thumb right at that at that point there. And going to fold these layers in and use these creases that we made to help along the top there as well. Try to get a nice point at the top there. like so. And then flip it over and do the exact same thing on this side. Open up your flaps, take the top layer, pull it back, and start to flatten down along your crease lines. There we are. Then going to take one of my flaps and bring it down, turn my work, and then bring these two up. And we are all set for the next step. Okay, so at this point I've got my, these are like legs, if you will. I'm gonna take these two legs one at a time and I'm gonna start by running my finger inside of one of those because we're going to flatten it out. So bring my finger all the way inside to that corner point right there. And we're going to open it up and flatten it down now. When you are doing this, I would suggest having this point here um, not come out perpendicular, not a, like a, a, a 90 degree angle, but up more, more like a, a 45, if you will, thereabouts. And then flatten down like so. Now we're going to do the same thing with this flap. However, I find for the sake of symmetry, what does help actually is if along this center, fold your work in half. And this is not going to be a, a permanent fold. It's just temporary. So this is the side that we just did. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side with this leg right here. And that way we can use this leg that we already did as a guide for where this one needs to go. So again, I'm going to scoot my finger into there and going to open this up and flatten it down utilizing the one that we just did as a guide.
like so. And then when we open up our piece again, they are nice and symmetrical. And yes, I, I can see that my, my folding could have been a little bit more precise, I admit as much, because yes, you see a lot of the, the white showing. Um, however, one could argue, oh, that's sort of like the veins of the leaves, you know? Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, now at this point, along this center line here, this is where our scissors come into play. And that is how we're going to create two more of the sort of leaf junctions, if you will. So grabbing my scissors and going to cut along that line. All the way up until this junction point here. There. Okay, and then going to turn our work over, actually. Um, no, actually, no, sorry. First, we're going to fold these up, then we're going to turn it over. I'm ahead of myself. So folding one of these leafy bits, giving enough space in between these two, and then crease it down. And then again, going to fold my work in half and utilizing the one that we just did as a guide, fold this one up. And that way we can obtain a symmetrical look and then unfold. And there you are. We're getting there. We most certainly are. Okay, so now it's at this point. Now we turn our piece over. And going to start by taking this flap here and scooching it down along the crease that already exists there. And then we're going to do another kite fold, actually with this layer here and this layer here. Okay, so bringing this bottom edge and this bottom edge to the center. See, all we did was just bring the top layer on either side up to the center there. Okay, now we're going to introduce a little bit more shaping and basically going to insert our finger into there and then fold this edge towards the center and flatten down at the same time. So. inserting into this little pocket here, bringing this edge towards the center and flattening down at the same time. And this is gonna give the base of the leaf a little bit more dimensionality from the other side. It's not major, but it is there. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Insert your finger into that little pocket, bringing this edge towards the center and flatten down as we go. And then, last but certainly not least, we're going to shape these 
sort of newly formed prongs that we have here and give them not quite so much pointiness uh, as these up top. So I'm going to take the tip and fold it back on itself, utilizing this edge and the bottom edge, lining them up. like so. This is more guesswork. Um, you know, it's it's not exact, you know, as far as how much you really need to go to, and we don't really have much of an exact line to follow. You could, however, go to that point down there. In fact, I think I'm going to, just, just for stuff and giggles, as I like to say. So that point right down there. Sometimes it's nice to have a guide to work with. And then I'm going to fold this point down there we are and then do the same thing on this side folding the tip down and then folding this point down And here we have ourselves a nice little leaf. Ta -da! Absolutely gorgeous in its own little rustic way. I love it. Alrighty, my dears, there you go. How to make an origami leaf. There are, of course, a lot of other variations on how to make leaves, but I thought that this one to me, it just feels the most fall-like. You know, it's it's not, you know, bamboo leaves or, you know, creeping vine rose leaves. No, this is, this to me is like a, a, a maple leaf, you know, uh, whether a Japanese maple or, you know, a regular New England maple, you know, these I really, really like. And if you liked this video, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And well, whether I'm doing origami or audiobook narration, cooking, crocheting, knitting, you name it. I, I love variety. It's the spice of life. And well, that being said, you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding fun, fabulous fall things, Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.